See if you're in a place to be, man. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, man. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> and this one, man, we talking about takeoff. Um, so, I ain't going to lie. You know, I done kind of tapped into a few channels. Seen a little bit of Poetic Flocko, a little bit of Academics, and a little bit of uh, King at K47. You know, kind of able to tap into what's kind of what's going on. Just kind of seeing what everybody's little little dissection is just because they able they got a little bit you know farther reach so you know it's just it's easy to kind of just look at what they got going on and shout out them you know if y'all follow them you know shout out them you know if you if you don't follow them man go, go follow them boys man and also go ahead and hit the sub button for your boy and um but yeah man this is my take on the situation man i feel like it was a, it was definitely a setup to take on takeoff because um you know, the only way it wouldn't be necessarily a setup is if Quavo was the one who pressed the issue whenever they got back to the um to the venue. So I don't know if that's been confirmed or not. I don't necessarily know, but you know, in the situation, um, previous you know previous early on in that day, Jay Prince Jr. <clears throat> and also I think Jazz Prince was rolling around with Quavo and takeoff. Um, you know, just rolling, taking around Houston, just showing them love, and they're supposed to just be under their protection. So while under their protection, you know, after an after party or a private party, um, you know, folks is hanging out, and it seems like the dude's kind of pressing Quavo because Quavo in the situation, he's just like, man, I ain't trying to play no basketball, man. Da -da 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 -da. He like, man, just let's move on. So at the end of the day. You know, Quavo just starts moving on. He moving on out of the situation. Um, and, and I guess he mouths off something, you know, very, very slight at the end, at, at his mouth. And I understand that it's fighting words. I definitely, I mean, I, I mean, that's, you know, some folks going to take it all the way there with you. And and I understand because that's, you know, they, they saying certain stuff. So when it come down to, um, you know, uh, the situation, it seemed like there was kind of pressing Quavo and them, you know, Probably trying, probably trying to, uh, probably trying to jack up, you know what I'm saying, for their stuff. Probably trying to see if they could, they can go ahead and take their stuff. Um, and then I guess situation get heated. Somebody swings at, uh, at Quavo because we we see Quavo not necessarily throwing a swing or some some happens, you know, between um, somebody swings or somebody, you know, shoots in the direction of where they at all the, the crowd, and then after that everybody just starts blinking back, and you know, in the in the midst of that. Two, uh, three people get shot, take off, and then two other people who uh, end up getting taken to the hospital. And um, it just seems like it might have been, you know, either set up for a robbery, um, you know, one of them situations. Because if y'all look at the young boy situation, how he took young boy's chain, well, car key and try to play with him um, and try to get it back, they could have definitely tried to, um, you know, you know, get up on Amigos, take their stuff. And then try to just act like, oh, yeah, we got the Migos stuff. Um, and we know the Migos probably wouldn't be the ones trying to talk about it. So, um, you know, you know, Jay, uh, Jay Prince, you know, shortly after the situation happens, he he go ahead, he go when it goes ahead and makes a response. Uh, I ain't finna go into the whole response, but somewhere in there, you know, he definitely says, um, you know, you know, whoever did it, you can't hide behind me. You know, he makes that statement very, very justified. You know, he says that out loud. I mean, well, well, he types that or wherever his PR team types that. And um, I don't know if it's PR team read over that because that was not necessarily something that you wanted to have put in there. It's kind of like almost kind of, um, you know, putting your putting some type of uh, conspiracy to the situation where y'all where you were where maybe y'all had, you know, talked about this beforehand or something like that. So, you know. To me, this definitely does look like a setup. You know, when I kind of look at it at the uh, NBA young boy angle, how they took his keys, you know, he talked about that. I definitely can kind of see it looking like a setup because it's like after the after the venue, you know, somebody pressing you and they just pressing you and they just talking a lot, you know, just trying to talk about something they getting in your face and then you trying to move on. You say something slight and not everybody just blinking. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like it was kind of co more of a coordinated assault than it seemed like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it only it it seems more coordinated than than it seemed in the video. 
It's only because the video don't really give us like a real good like long take of the situation. It kind of just like flashes up and flashes down. We see the shoes and flashes back up. And then the other video gets another angle. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to necessarily piece together everything that did happen from the situation. But, you know, from how it's looking, um, they also said to do with the yellow hoodie was, you know, was in the Duke the Jeweler situation. And he was right next to takeoff, you know, you know, had the ups on it in the situation. So it just kind of seemed, it does definitely seem like a setup to me. Like I'm starting to starting to kind of feel that way. Um, and I feel like Jay Prince tried to smooth that edge off for his sons, um, who also said they weren't there at the situation when they were definitely seen there. It's just crazy. Like, it's just, it's just crazy. So I know that was a lot to unravel, y'all. But if y'all need to, man, y'all can definitely keep playing this video back, man. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, man. So, um, you know, you know, them J, the, the, the Prince family, you know, they under the internet investigation, like folks on the internet trying to figure out like, you know, why they seem to look like they really looking flawed in this situation. Like how, how they left takeoff or how Jay Prince Jr. walked out of the situation whenever takeoff was there. So, um, you know, man, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's looking real shysty, you know, at this point, um, you know. I feel like, you know, one thing he did say I agree with black folks, we got to do better. But, you know, if Jay Prince was a part of the situation, or Jay Prince Jr., you know, it's it's really not looking good on any side. So, man, yeah, like like I said, man, that was a lot to unravel, a lot to unpack. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation, man. Do y'all feel like, you know, Jay Prince did and them did set him up? You know what I'm saying? Or do y'all feel like, you know, it was just a uh, bad place, bad time, just an argument. And it was what Quavo said. Do y'all feel like, you know, <clears throat> that Quavo pressed the argument, that he was the one who started the argument, he was the one pressing them, or did they press him? Because if they pressed him, it are, then that looks like a setup. Because it's like, why? Like, you y'all pressed him after the venue, talking about such and such and such. And then they already said, Quavo saying, I already played basketball, bro. We already played basketball earlier. So he likes, you know. You know, I'm I don't even I don't know if he was necessarily up and he didn't want to get the money back and he was he already played or something like that. I don't know how, how necessarily he was up in the situation, but uh if he was, you know, then you know, this situation definitely does seem like a setup. But um y'all let me know how I feel about the situation. Y'all go ahead hit the like button, man. Go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button, man. We on the road to 1k subs, you know. We just chugging along, trying to get there. Y'all go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Y'all stay out the way. Until next time, man.